Hi, my name is Annika and I'm reporting live with Virginia, Ingrid, and Ariana. And we're going to be talking about Coyote Village today. Hi, my name is Ariana, and I'm here reporting at Coyote Village with... Daniel Torohoff. Um, So what is your favorite part about dorming at Coyote Village? My favorite part about dorming here is being close to everything on campus and being able to talk to people in your dorm. Thank you so much yeah. for your time. <laughs> As you can see, this is a student lounging area provided by Coyote Village. This not only helps students unwind, relax, but also a place to study. It's a cool feature because most students after classes will need it. You will see a sign that says, Welcome to Coyote Village. On the other side, you have direct access to the office with the area coordinator. And the cool feature too is that you have bulletin boards listed with clubs, events, and such for student residents. Now passing it over to Virginia. Thank you very much. Now, as you can see, we have made it to the second floor of the Coyote Village. This is pretty much how the dorms look like on every floor. And as you can see, there is a living room area where the students are allowed to do homework, relax, whatever they please. There is also a gender neutral bathroom so the students can feel as comfortable as they can. There is also an emergency staircase exit. In any case of an emergency, the students are allowed to use it. Our first question is, what activities and resources does Coyote Village offer? Um, so Coyote Village offers a variety of activities through our resident assistant program. Our resident assistants um, are our student leaders in the halls, and then we have academic mentors. Um, they put on various programs through the halls. Um, we also have our village council who also does programs. So we offer a lot of programs, like um, some are um, academic, some are social, um, related to some of our values that we have within the department. Hi, this is Annika reporting, and today I'm joined by... Ling. Okay, Ling, I have a question for you. Sure. What are some safety protocols that are required for faculty and residents? Probably don't do anything, don't do drugs, don't do alcohol. That's, it doesn't allow in the building alcohol. And first of all, Smoking is not allowed. Candles are they are not allowed either. The fire oh. alarm the fire alarm goes off. So don't try that. <laughs> Alright. So no drugs, no alcohol. And definitely no candles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, what are some accommodations Coyote Village offers students with disabilities? Um, we do have ADA accessible apartment uh, apartments in our apartments, and then uh, of course within Coyote Village. So um, we do have ADA accessible bathrooms um, because none of the uh, rooms in Coyote Village have their own bathroom. So um, we do have accessible bathrooms. Um, if students do need resources um, or individual help, we do suggest going through uh, student disability to get those sort of accommodations that they need, and we, we do our best to you know make sure that they're supported. And if there was something specific, like they could definitely reach out, um, and we we would do our best to like make sure that they're you know they can get into their bed or whatever the case is that, that they need. So um, I think it's just in that important step of like letting us know what their accommodation is, going through the proper channels of SSD. Um, that way, you know, we can make sure that they have what they need. But most of our rooms, if not, we do have um, accessibility 